I saw the Weird Al movie. That was that like the Roku original. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I, I kept seeing people talk about it. I kept seeing people link the trailer. T. He, Daniel Radcliffe, whom we know from Harry Potter, will be playing Weird Al. How wonderful! How perfect! Um, well, there was like a wasn't there like a Funny or Die sketch that was yeah. the yeah. this concept. Well, so I didn't realize that, or I, I forgot, or something. But that's this is a Funny or Die feature film. <laughs> No, it, like I, they made Funny or Die made this this movie. Oh, really? This is actually Funny or Die. Yeah, oh. like I, that's not me editorializing. They made and and it's based on that fake trailer. So the joke, the joke of that Funny or Die sketch was, like, let's parody the tropes of a music biopic by taking very seriously a Weird Al movie or something. And so instead of actually telling you the story of Weird Al Yankovic and how he became you know successful in comedy music uh it doesn't do any of that it's instead it take like it you know it, it just parodies every trope of a musical biopic like uh him coming up with my bologna you know um off the top of his like like in in like a moment of revelation where he's in the kitchen surrounded by people and he's like my bologna and then comes up with the whole and then it's instantly a hit the next morning or what you know so it's like it's making fun of movie moments fine the thing is i've seen that joke and I've seen it many times, but never better than Dewey Cox, Walk Hard, the Dewey Cox story, which is like the best movie ever. Yeah, uh, I feel like it would be even funnier if they just played it completely straight, like just just made a biopic about Weird Al. I, I would have actually been kind of interested in seeing a biopic about Weird Al. And like, <laughs> you know, I think the joke is they got Daniel Radcliffe to play him because he's like a famous person, not because he in any way embodies Weird Al. Like that, that's meant to, you know. And the like, EJ, you can see all the jokes coming from a billion miles away. It's like, can, can you imagine a scene where Weird Al's on stage, drunk and high, and screaming yeah. at his fans? Because that scene happens. And you know, like, okay, the big joke that they and dude, I don't know what it is. This movie's like an hour and fifty minutes, and I don't know what it is, but like, it's edited real loosey goosey. It it doesn't, you know, like those. I feel like it's like a product of digital filmmaking now or something where like they just don't spend a lot of time on the scene, but it'll be like a shot reverse shot, like just two medium shots of two people talking and it's cutting constantly. Oh, and, and you're like, what? Well, and, and it, it kind of like ruins any sense of rhythm or, or like, where's the scene going? What's the drive of the scene? It just kind of keeps cutting back and forth between two people who are trying to be funny, you know? Um, yeah, it's, it's, and it's not like a commentary on like the Bohemian Rhapsody movie. <laughs> no, it is. Like, it totally. It, no, it, 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 that's what I was going to say was. It's like, a, oh, like, the, the, yeah, the bad editing is not I don't think it's a commentary. No, I think it's oh. just it's just bad editing. But oh, I see. I see. But the but the. um, The joke overall of like, the, like, what what should we make fun of about musical biopics? The thing is, is like a really, really, really cheesy musical biopic hasn't really existed in a while, except for Bohemian Rhapsody. So this movie ends up being kind of just a parody of Bohemian Rhapsody. And the, the the big joke in the middle of the movie, which they spend way too long on, is that Weird Al decides that he's more than just parodies. He's not going to parody anymore. He's going to write an original song. And he has a, an original hit called Eat It. And then Michael Jackson comes along and rips him off. Nah. That's the, and it goes on and on. And then there's this whole thing with Pablo Escobar and like, it becomes, it devolves into like a big action movie. He dies at the end. So it's meant to, that, you know, it's all those jokes, you know? Oh, I see. Um, I see. Evan Rachel Wood yeah. plays Madonna in it. And he has a torrid love affair with Madonna, but like she, her performance doesn't bring anything to it. Really. She's not like doing anything funny or interesting as Madonna. She's just lady. Um, I see. Hmm. And, and and if you love Weird Al, if like, you just love Weird Al music, I don't really think that this movie like scratches that itch. I mean, it's in there's some Weird Al music in there. You, you know, how, like like Funny or Die sketches always have like famous people kind of pop up, like a Patton Oswalt right. or a you know like a Jack Black or something. Will, that's Will Ferrell. Yeah, yeah, that's in this very much. Like a famous person will pop up. Rain Wilson plays Doctor Demento, and you know. They just get to chew the scenery and it's okay because it's a comedy. I just found it tiresome. I found it like, I just felt like I saw the, 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 the this brand of comedy is, is kind of done for. It's only a hat on a hat kind of thing or hat on a hat. 
<laughs> yeah, it, it is hat on the hat. And, I, and it's I, I do think it's too bad. Well, so as far as the Roku thing, yeah, it, they they gave it away for free if you have a Roku device or a Roku account. I guess the 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 thought process there must be like we want to make something that like we you know Roku doesn't own any fucking IPs, so they can't make like a franchise thing. And they're like, but well, we still want to do something that's like name recognition. We can't just make some like original drama. So okay, we'll do the Weird Al bi- biopic. It'll be a comedy. But and if it's a comedy, then we can save some money on it. We don't have to like blow tons of money on this thing. And then we'll put it out for free. And but I, I think as far as a business model goes, I think it probably makes sense. I think they're probably trying to uh, make it so that when you buy a Roku, you have something to watch. Yeah. But I don't, yeah, there's no appeal to me on that. It's like that sounds like a tiresome thing to watch that for. What, how long did you say it was? Yeah, like an hour and 50. Hour and 50? Yeah. That should be, you know, uh, having fun up there. Like, <laughs> That should be 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah, 45. It should be a funnier dice sketch. Look, man, when I see Tales from the Jedi and it's 15 minutes per episode and there's only six of them and I'm very, very, very satiated, I'm, yeah. I'm like, make your 45 minute feature film. I'll watch it. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Why not? I think there's a, uh, uh, yeah, especially with the, you know, uh, was a werewolf by night, like having something to just be a short special and nothing else. I, I think that's fine. I think it's fine. I'm going to really- move on. Subscribe to Red Cow Entertainment on Patreon for full episodes every other week.